commenting what proved to be a fascinating encounter with comedian Frank Carson, England team manager Bobby Robson and our commentator Jock Brown. Well, the 62,000 capacity crowd has generated a tremendous atmosphere inside the stadium for the start of the match. Celtic anxious to bridge the four-point gap at the top of the Premier Division and Rangers, of course, determined to get the result which would surely make them odds-on favourites to win the championship. So it's Rangers who go forward first. There's Davy Cooper with Graham Souness. Cooper has passed a fitness test on his injured shoulder. An awkward one flighted in to Pat Bonner, and that shows how treacherous the wind is. And I'm sure the Celtic keeper, Pat Bonner, will be mightily relieved to have that first piece of action. So Celtic lining up, of course, with Mo Johnston at centre-forward, back in the side after his suspension and place on the subs bench last week. And he's offside. Danny McGrain wearing number three but playing at right back, lending his experience to the back four, which reads McGrain, Aiken, McGugan and White. Cooper's forward pass, here's Durant. Challenged by McGugan. So Pat Bonner has made the long trip back from international duty in Bulgaria in midweek for the Republic of Ireland there's McInally Celtic opening up with McClare playing off the front two of Johnston and McInally but here's Modern McLeod with space Paul stay right in the middle of midfield for Celtic here's McClare return from McLeod and Johnston was beaten to the ball by Stuart Munro a good piece of defending by the Rangers fullback. But Celtic have the corner kick. And Mo Johnston certainly looks anxious to make an impression in the early stages of the match. McGugan has joined the Celtic attack for Paul McStay's court. Kept in play by McStay. There's Johnston! Just inches over the top. A brilliant header from Mo Johnston. That could so easily have been the opening goal the Celtic fans were praying for. The initial ball was headed firmly back by Derek Ferguson. Good control here from McStay on the chest. And then that near post cross. Johnston was alert. The back header and Woods looked to be in trouble. Here's Derek White. Cloud towards Johnston, chased again by Roberts. An awkward cross, and again the wind causing problems for the goalkeepers. Chris Woods had to react and adjust his position very quickly indeed to take that ball from Johnston. Well, you can see how difficult life will be this afternoon for goalkeepers as Johnston flighted that in it to appear to swerve towards goal. And the adjustment made by Woods was just in time. Grange header towards McAnally. Interception by Butcher. Sooners to Ferguson. Ferguson goes on the outside. Here's Durant. It's a good turn. Good play by Durant. McPherson now has space on the right. And the spin was judged well by Derek White. Jones to Cooper. Sidestepping McGrain. And Derek White getting in in front of McCoist, but it's McPherson now for Rangers. Here's Roberts. Fleck. Derek White forced to play the ball wide of goal as McCoist cut off the route to Bonner. So a corner kick to Rangers. It's their first corner kick of the match. And David McPherson takes the opportunity to go forward along with Terry Butcher. And Cooper lines up the in swinger. There's Butcher and McPherson at the near post. Roberts hovering at the edge of the box. And that was swirling in under the bar, and it's been chopped off for a foul by Fleck on the goal line. 
Davy Cooper can scarcely believe it. And really, I doubt if any action from Fleck affected the issue here. A bit of pushing around the near post area, but Bonner was in serious trouble, and that is undoubtedly a let-off for Celtic. McGugan's tackle with McClare. Now McLeod. Forced across field by the Rangers midfield players. There's McGrain. And that's good running by McLeod. And the cross aimed towards McClare. It's won by Roberts. Stay trying to flick that towards Mo Johnston. Good ball from Roberts to Durant. Fleck and McCoy stun in attack. There's Fleck, he's onside. No, the flag has gone up. Well, it certainly wasn't much in that. The linesman Jim Carlin from the Lithgo. And the flag up for Robert Fleck, and I fancy he may well have been in line, which puts him offside. Good move this, though, from Rangers. Durant trying to time the pass forward. There was Fleck. The hand up from Derek White. Johnson doing well against Butcher. Tunis dumps it forward towards McCoy. Support comes from Ferguson. McPherson racing forward on the right. He has to be quick to catch that pass from Ferguson. Now Durant. Tackled by Aiken. White to McAnally. The layoff to McStay. That's a great pass towards McClear. Taking on Durant. Celtic getting men forward quickly now. There's Grant. Now next day, back it comes to McLeod. There was a deflection, that'll be a corner kick. Good inventive play from Celtic coming forward. And all opened up by that superb pass initially from Paul McStay. He was the man again who sent back the short ball from Mother McLeod, which was deflected for the corner kick. So McGugan's turn to go forward. Along with Derek White. With McGrain with a lot of space. Running inside McCoy. Back it comes to McLeod. And no one coming in at the far post for Celtic. Something of a wasted opportunity that as McLeod set up the opening for the cross, which Derek White was several yards shot of. And McLeod, now McClare. Waiting for Mother McLeod, using him as a decoy. Good play from McClare. And the cutback is won by Sunis, who's fouled by Johnston. So a little bit of gamesmanship there from Graham Sunis after that angry exchange with Johnston. McGugan's header, chested down by Butcher. There's McCoy. Cooper does well to retain possession. Now Sunis. Derek Ferguson, queuing up in the middle now for Rangers. One of them, Sunis. That was a magnificent opportunity for Graham Sunis. The Celtic defenders think he was offside. But Graham Sunis really will feel he should have scored from that situation. There's Ferguson with the cross, slanting it over beyond Roy Aiken. There was Sunis with a clear header. And that's a situation he's not normally called upon to exploit. Pushing by Grant on Durant, so a free kick to Rangers on the halfway line. Wayne Durant having a very interesting battle with Peter Grant in the midfield. Terry Butcher. Header from McLeod. The player gets there in front of Roberts. With just clearance. Ball swirling awkwardly and it's returned by Monroe to Fleck. It's a good turn. Robert Fleck going through Mother McLeod at full stretch. There's Fleck. And good goalkeeping by Bonner in the end. But that was undoubtedly a chance for Robert Fleck. And Fleck showing his tremendous acceleration as he moved forward. There he goes now, driving through the Celtic defence. This is good play also by Mother McLeod, putting pressure on without making any rash challenge. 
and Bonner spreading himself to gather the shot. Oh, the referee goes down. Quickly back in his feet as Mother McLeod goes forward on the left for Celtic. McLeod lining up for the shot. Well, that's certainly carelessness by the Rangers defence. They must know about Mother McLeod's shooting power. And he was given the chance there to come forward. A lot of space there to direct the shot at Chris Woods. But comfortably taken in the end. Now here's Johnston breaking on the right. Butcher barring his path. And there's Roberts with the header. Rugan now being picked up by Terry Butcher inside the box at the near post. It's Murder McLeod will attempt the in swinger to test Chris Woods. The header by White. Woods is in trouble. There's Aiken. McLeod and the handball is a penalty kick. It's Brian McLeod's shot. It was palmed over the bar and Celtic have the penalty. The corner kick causing all sorts of problems with the Rangers defence. Initial header by White, Woods couldn't get to the ball. There's McClare, and it's palmed over the bar by Stuart Munro. So it's McClare against Woods. The referee is making sure all the players are 10 yards away. 1-0 to Celtic. Comprehensively deposited by Brian McClare. And a jubilation now from the Celtic fans. No chance at all for Chris Woods. And Brian McClare, the goal-scoring machine, gets number 35 of the season. With just 11 minutes of the first half to go. You see this again. Thump to Woods' right. The keeper goes to the left. The perfect penalty kick. David Hay looking very tense, but must be substantially relieved by that opening goal. Well, Rangers player manager Graham Soonish now realises he'll have to chase the game more and get into some attacking positions. They appear to be coping well, Rangers, with the Celtic attack until that Mother McLeod corner kick. And that's McLeod's third goal against Rangers this season. The only Celtic player to score against Rangers. And here he goes again, breaking on the right. And Stuart Munro positioned himself well. There's McLaren leaving the throw to Peter Grant. And it sounds as though we may have lift off here at Celtic Park as these Celtic supporters celebrate. The opening goal, and that will be great inspiration to Celtic to look for a second. There's with Johnston, and that is another penalty kick. Terry Butcher. Butcher looks furious, and referee Bob Valentine gave the decision instantly. And this was brilliant play from Johnston, going past Butcher towards the byline, and certainly that appeared to be a clear penalty kick. Here's Brian McClare as the ball is blown off the penalty spot, and that certainly is disconcerting for the kicker. So Chris Woods again with the dilemma. Does he go to his right or go the same way as the first time? There's McClare. Identical from McClare, and Woods couldn't reach it. It's 2-0 to Celtic. Celtic players absolutely jubilant another superb penalty kick Woods guessed right this time but the power and the accuracy beat him comprehensively and there's Munro with the cross McCoist is there, so is Bonner he's had a splendid match so far in goal for Celtic Stuart Munro sending over a very difficult swirling ball which Bonner took very confidently and there goes the half time whistle there's Brian McClare the Celtic player who scored both goals in the first half in the penalty spot in the 34th and 37th minutes but Celtic started the game very very brightly indeed 
looked as though Rangers had won the early storm and then a corner kick from Murdo McLeod was swirled in, Chris Woods was at sea and when McLear's shot came in, Monroe palmed it over to allow McLear to drill home the first penalty kick and then Butcher pulled down Mo Johnston three minutes later McLear repeated the doors and that's what gives Celtic the half-time lead it's Celtic 2, Rangers 0 so Celtic set off to maintain their undefeated home record this season and they certainly have gone the right way about it in the first half with these two goals from a penalty spot from Brian McLear and they're the first foul of the second half Jimmy Nicholl wearing number 12 is on the field he has replaced Dave McPherson in the Rangers ranks and he's gone straight into right back but before he sees any action the referee will have a word with Derek Ferguson for that foul there's the young Rangers midfield player just 19 years old Rangers started off clearly intent on sitting in and frustrating the Celtic attack but these penalty kicks have changed the complexity of the match David Hay smoking a cigar, still looking very tense and pensive as Fleck makes progress. Putting it back to Roy Aiken. There's Roberts. There's Paul McStay. Opening play out, coming across field. That's for Grant. A chase now for McAnally, that's a good pass. Witcher comes across the early ball, there's Johnston, he can't reach it. Well, that was almost an opening for Mo Johnston. Jimmy Nichol tidies up for Rangers. But Peter Grant's pass, releasing McAnally on the right, the first time cross just beyond Mo Johnston. Next day doing some climbing on the shoulders of Graham Sinnes. Kick to Rangers. Graham Roberts will take it and Terry Butcher has moved forward at his height to the Rangers attack Bonner takes it cleanly he definitely has not made the semblance of an error in the match so far Grant's header Butcher did well with Johnston Cooper, now Sunnis. Jimmy Nicholl going forward on the right. There's Ferguson. McGugan at full stretch. There's Cooper. And McCoy is offside. The flag is up. Referee Valentine reacts to the linesman's flag. And McCoy was the man caught offside as. Ferguson's cross came over. McGugan did well initially, nodding the ball on. There was David Cooper. You see McCoy now is in that offside position as Cooper sends the ball across. So what appeared to be handball later on by Aiken. Well, that's doubtful, I think. But in any event, the whistle had gone for offside. Sunis chipping it wide to Nickel. There's Fleck with Ferguson. Sunis is free in the middle. With a lot of space. He also has Cooper free on the left. Now a chance for Rangers. Cooper taking on McGrain. That's McCoy. A brilliant goal from Rangers. Eight minutes into the second half and Rangers are right back in the match. Celtic made to pay for slackness in midfield, allowing space for Sunnis in particular. But Ali McCoy gets his 32nd goal of the season. There was Sunnis with the pass. Out to Cooper. Now this is what makes Cooper such a special player. Going away from McGray with ease. And then that beautifully plated ball across the face of the goal there was McCoy and Bonner had no chance at all now Jimmy Nicol McCoy with Aiken now Dugan goes across to win the ball from Durant still in play good piece of defending by the big centre half 
McAnally linking with McClare. It's three against two. And McAnally goes down. Roberts will certainly be in trouble. A shocking tackle by Graham Roberts. He was being outpaced by McAnally. McAnally striding forward. He had Johnston on his right. Roberts was being beaten there. And there's no question he took the man out. And referee Bob Ballantyne is now taking disciplinary action against Roberts. Well, the yellow card clearly. But Graham Roberts, who already faces a period of suspension, I'm assuming it may be longer. And that's now too far out for a direct shot, even with the prowess of McLeod and McClare. Chips too high for Johnston. If Woods wins it. exacerbated by the tackle from Mordor McLeod. So booking for the Celtic midfield player. Here's Sunis. Woods are chasing for the ball. They got his foot to it, but they couldn't put it on target. The long left leg of Terry Butcher causing problems for the Celtic defence. A delicate chipped free kick from Sunis. Butcher was clearly the target. Sprinting across, covered by McGugan. One that appeared to be getting there first, but Butcher stretched the touch behind the goal kick. Robert Fleck. McGugan judged that well to intercept, but the clearance goes out for the Rangers' throw. The Rangers exerting more pressure on the Celtic defence. Looking for the equaliser. Cooper now on the right. That's a fine cross. A chance for McCoy. And a golden opportunity for Ali McCoy goes a begging. Pat Bonner is furious with his defensive teammates. And Cooper almost opened up the Celtic defence once again. Well, here's Cooper now on the right. Comes on to his left foot, slants the crossover. Fleck couldn't reach it. There was McCoy with a great chance for Rangers. And the ball goes agonisingly over the crossbar. And now a change has been made by Celtic. But taking off Alan McAnally and bringing on Owen Archdeacon. So Archdeacon will slot into the left side of midfield, allowing McClare to go forward and be the principal support for Mo Johnson. White to McClare. Grant going to touch. Johnston is onside. A great chance now for Celtic third. And Mo Johnston uncharacteristically wastes the opportunity. But there would have been a riot, I fancy, of one kind or another had that goal gone in because the appeals for offside to the Rangers fans were vociferous. Came off the heel of Peter Grant, nodded forward. There was Johnston, who certainly appeared to be offside. And in the end, he hurried the shot over the top. Flecked with Aiken, back it goes to Durant. Laid off for McCoy. This must be the equaliser now. Sinis. And it's over the top. Feels for handball. And referee Valentine is not interested. Ali McCoy is furious that there's no penalty decision. But a corner kick it is. And what a chance this was as Durant played the ball across. It was screened by Ferguson into the path of McCoy. Who really should have buried this opportunity. But the shot blocked by the combined efforts. McLeod and Bonner it came back to McCoy and it glanced off the shoulder of White and the replacement the first look for us at Jimmy Phillips the former Bolton Wanderers fullback coming on to replace 
the injured Davy Cooper. So that will involve some reorganisation, I think, of the Rangers' ranks. And let's see what they do. Pat Bonner taking all the time in the world now to allow his men to get forward. We're into the closing stages of the match as Brandt has a misunderstanding there with Danny McGrain giving the throw to Rangers. Here's Fleck. Monroe playing it forward, it's headed down by Aker only as far as Fleck. There's Phillips, stopped by White. Finis running it down to Ferguson. Here's Phillips again. What a time to make your first appearance for Rangers. And Sunis will be in trouble for that challenge. A blatant body check by Graham Sunis. I will see this here coming in, thumping into the tackle. And Peter Grant took the full brunt of that. And there's a booking for Sunis. Not much noise at the moment from the Rangers' end. Time fast running out for equaliser. Here to come off Jimmy Nicholl, that's a throw to Celtic. Nicholl gathering the ball, hopefully. The Celtic fans now sensing victory. There's Mo Johnston. Leclerc. Roberts. Leclerc back towards Johnston. Chris Woods coming out with a foot up. Johnston took the full brunt of that. A corner kick's been given. Mother McLeod protesting to the referee. That was a foul by Woods. And Mo Johnston certainly is in trouble. So Johnston waved on side as he goes forward. The ball bouncing as Woods came out. The foot was up all right. And Chris Woods may consider himself lucky that there was no more serious action taken by referee Valentine. Celtic fans welcome Mo Johnston back in his feet. The corner kick to Celtic. Paul McStay will take it. The low one collected by McCoy. Immediately bumped to the deck by Paul McGugan. McCoy doing his defensive chore effectively, and McGugan was penalised. The chance now for Celtic. It's Arsdeacon, and that's the third goal. A disaster in the Rangers' defence, and Owen Arsdeacon clinches the match for Celtic. Quite incredible. The free kick between Woods and Nicol goes wrong. Look at this now. Woods very casual. There's Jimmy Nicol. didn't control it. Arsdeacon stepped in. The Rangers defender still protesting, and Arsdeacon was too close to the action. But Owen Arsdeacon gets only his second goal of the season. 3-1 to Celtic. Incredible.